uh, this experiment was carried out by Kita, and the data suggested that LPA can modify the agonist-induced vasomotor responses in the isolated red mesenteric artery in a shear stress-dependent manner. Because LPA in the same concentration range had no significant effect on the artery tune at a static condition. This is an experiment taken by our group. This study demonstrates the combined therapy of herbal extractor with swimming on inhibiting inflammatory factors, improving hemorrheological parameters and lipoprotein in red model of atherosclerosis. It highlights the promoting biomechanical pharmacological effects for prevention atherosclerosis. These graphs clearly demonstrated that proper dose of herbal extractor combined with proper amount of exercise showed better reduction for NF-kappa B and MCP1, the inflammatory factors. In the following presentation, we use Bioflux, system, Bioflux 1000 system to mimic the environment of drug action in vivo. Controlled shear stress was designed in pharmacodynamic evaluation of ISOHAPA guide. The title of the study one is Anti-Inflammatory Effect of ISOHAPA guide demonstrated by its influence on leukocyte adhesion and transmigration in endothelial cells under controlled shear stress. Isuhaba guide is an extract compound from the traditional herbs, which was the herbs, the herb has been used for thousands of years in southern China for treating inflammatory disease. We want to in fact, investigate the anti-inflammatory effects of Isuhaba guide from the interactions among blood flow, vessel war, and blood constitutes under the framework theory of biomechanical pharmacology. We have taken experiments from these following five aspects such as influence of isohaba guides on HUVAX and the THP1 cells viability by MTTSC, and effect of isohaba guide on THP1 adhesion at static conditions. Today, we especially introduce the effect of shear flow on THP1 adhesion to TNF-alpha activated HUVAX and the effects of isohaba guide on THP1 adhesion and transmigration under shear flow by using Bioflux 1000 system. THP1 cells were perfused under 0 0.02, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5 past shear stress over the Huvex monolayer. The Huvex monolayer were activated by TNF alpha. THP1 cell flow velocity was determined by flowing cell trail method. Briefly, the travel distance of a THP1 cell was reviewed by a rod shape trail of the cell, as illustrated in Finger 3. The exposure time was 10 milliseconds. The length of the white bar, L1, L2, L3, L4, illustrate the flowing trail of the THP1 cell under different shear stress. The longer the trail length is, the faster the cell flows. The flow velocity of a single THP1 cell 
can be calculated. And the THP1 flowing velocity increased while the shear stress elevated by linear regression. On the TNF alpha activated endothelial monolayers, THP1 cell adhesion number reduced while the shear stress rose. When shear stress increased to 0 0.1, 0 0.5 to 1 Pascal shear stress, THP1 cell adhesion numbers sharply declined. A non linear regression of exponential decay is to fit a model of THP1 adhesion process and shear stress. And on the unactivated endothelial monolayer, there was almost no adhesion compared to the TNF alpha activated endothelial monolayer. So we think low shear stress is essential for look side adhesion. We select 0.1 path of shear stress to evaluate the Isuhabagide effect. Effect of Isuhabagide on TP1 adhesion and transmigration to HUX under flow were determined by using parallel flow in Bellflux 24 well plates. We dynamically compared Isuhabagide effects on endothelial functions with the media control in the same observational channel simultaneously under the same shear condition. In the Bellflux 24 well plate, confluent Huvex layer were pretreated by Isohaba guide containing medium flowing along half of the channel, and the control media flowing along the other half. Substitutionally divided by the dashed line, and the red arrow means the flow direction. The image A, we can see the flow uh, video dynamically. With the time passed by, the Isuhaba guide pretreatment can show the anti-inflammatory anti effect. The finger A, uh, the Im image A showed THP cells were introduced onto activated monolayer evenly, and the image B showed form adhesion was captured after 0.1 Pascal shear flowing for 30 minutes in 200 micromolar of Isohaba guide treatment and control group. From the comparement, we can see significant inhibition in THP1 cells adhesion was observed in Isohaba guide pretreatment. In the process of transmigration, net cell transmigrated through the Huvex monolayer were observed and counted using phase contrast microscopy. Adherent cells were round and face bright at the beginning for each field of wheel and the typical transmigration, trans transmigrated cells are marked with white arrowheads. Transmigr transmigrated cells are amoeboid, face dark, and trans transitioning from above to below in the Huvex monolayer. Significant inhibition in THP1 cells transmigration was observed in Isohabagide treatment. This is the statistic, statistic graph to show the anti inflammatic effects of Isuhaba guide. Under 0.1 uh, 
past Pascal flow conditions. Pre-treatment of 200 micromolar isohaba guide inhibited TGP1 adhesion and stress migration in TNF alpha activated endothelium significantly. From above mentioned, we can conclude that low shear stress is essential for loop side adhesion and transmigration in activated endothelial cells. Whereas increased shear stress appears protecting against adhesion occurring. Isohaba guide exhibited anti inflammation effects by influencing loop size adhesion and transmigration in TNFR for activated endothelial cells under low shear stress. In flow conditions, 200 micromolar isohaba guide reduced more than 60% THP1 cell adhesion and decreased about 30% of THP1 transmigrated through the Huvex monolayer compared with the control. At static condition, isohaba guide reduced about 50% THP1 cell adhesion on TNFR activated Huvex monolayer. Interestingly, Effects of isohaba guide are not only dose dependent, but also shear stress dependent. So we think controlling of shear stress compared with application of traditional child medicine could be exploited to design novel therapeutic strategies to protect artery inflammation. So let's start the study two. Let me introduce the study two. The title is Evaluation of Hyocytone Injection on Collagen Induced Platelet Adhesion and Aggregation by Bioflux 1000 System. In this study, we want to investigate and observe the real-time influence of hyocytone injection on the collagen 1 induced platelet ag adhesion and aggregation. This is the herb plant, and this is the radic notoginsin, and this is the injection of hyocytone used in clinic. This three uh, this three formula is the main components ginseng, saphony, RB1, RG1, and uh, Penex ginseng, saphony, R1. From these images, we, we tested the dose dependent collagen 1 immediate stable platelet adhesion and aggregation under physical flow. The platelet was labeled by Kelsey EM, and the fluorescent images showed platelet adhesion and aggregation on the surface of channel coated with different concentration of collagen 1 in the bioflux plate channel. These images are fluorescent images obtained after 10 dyeing flow for 5 minutes. Uh, image A without collagen 1 coated. From B, image B to image F, the collagen 1 concentration increased. Uh, at the 160 microgram per mole collagen 1 induced the seriously, serious platelet adhesion and aggregation. So we use the 40 microgram per mole to induce the platelet aggregation to evaluate the drug effect. This is a video, real-time 
real-time platelet aggregation with the concentration increased. And also, this is the uh, statistic curve for platelet adhesion and aggregation induced by different concentration of collagen 1. These images showed dose dependent inhibition of hucytone injection on platelet adhesion and aggregation induced by collagen 1. The collagen 1 concentration is 40 microgram per mL. And this uh, finger, uh, image one, image A, showed without hyoscytone injection. And uh, with the concentration increased, the platelet aggregation decreased. So we can draw the dose response curve of hyoscytone injection inhibited platelet adhesion and aggregation. The IC50 is 0.25 milligram per mL. Also, we carry out we carried out the experiments to find the shear stress influence on the effect of hyoscytone antiplatelet aggregation effects. We found the logarithmic curve fitting between shear stress and uh, the drug effect. And this is equation. So from the above experiment, we think hyoscytone injection could inhibit collagen-induced platelet adhesion and aggregation under physical flow. Shear stress showed impact on the efficacy of medicine. We also think Belflux 1000 could be used to evaluate the efficacy of Hoshiohuayu traditional China herbs. Uh, this, these herbs are classified by TCM theory, um, mostly means activating the blood circulation and removing hemostasis. From all the experiments we have done, uh, the drug evaluation is conducted by introducing biomechanical techniques into the orthodox pharmacology. Pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetic studies are carried out from interactions among blood flow, blood vessels, blood constitutes, to the viewpoint of biomechanical pharmacology which currently focus on vascular endothelial function. And vascular disease may be prevented by means of combining of drugs and mechanical factors. This is our research group. And this is Professor Fu Longliao, and this is me, and this uh, master's student Chang Qing, Guo Yufei, and the master's student Gu Man. Thanks a lot.